Hello, art friends. It's Miss Glowicky. I wanted to show you this really cool website. It's called Strata, and it is a way that you can sculpt a 3D object on your computer. It's totally free, and you have a link to it, and I want to see what kind of really cool things you can make. Now, I want to show you a couple of things in this video. The first is you are probably going to start out with a sphere or a ball type shape in your 3D space on your screen. Now, I don't wanna start with a sphere. You can if you want to, but if you wanna start with a different shape, you can go up here to scene up at the top left and you can hit clear scene and it will totally get rid of your shape. I want to start with a cube. So I'm gonna go down to add cube and I'm gonna click add cube and it's gonna give me a cube. Now, if you want to move around your cube, just like me, you do that by clicking somewhere off of the cube, so somewhere in the background, kind of like over here, and you're gonna click, and you're gonna drag your cursor, and then you can move around your shape really easily. You can zoom in and out using the mouse pad on your computer, on your keyboard. So I'm just scrolling up and down with my fingers on my mouse pad to zoom in and out. So some of the tools I wanna to show you, all of your tools are over here on the right and they're gonna start you out with a brush tool. Now the brush tool does something pretty cool. It will add material to your sculpture. And so you see how it's starting to build it up. I'm going in little circular motions with my cursor to build out on my sculpture. Pretty cool, huh? Now, if you click this option here that says negative, if you check box, you check that box right there and you start kind of brushing over your sculpture, it starts to get rid of material. So be careful with whether or not you have that negative clicked or not. Now, if you want to get rid of what you just did, you can go up to history and hit undo and it'll take you back a step. Another cool tool I want to show you is the twist tool. If you go to the tools and you select twist, if you hold, so you click and hold, and then move your cursor in a circular motion around that little red dot, it's going to make a really cool twist. Now notice how it made two twists, one on my right side and one on my left side. That's because I have this little option called symmetry selected. Now, if you deselect it, so I take that checkbox away, I can now make a twist, but it's not going to make another one on the other side. But I kind of like that. I like the symmetry option. So I'm going to undo that one twist, and I'm going to keep these other two twists, though. Uh, another really interesting option is the smooth tool. If you are sculpting on your 3D sculpture and you find kind of some bumpy areas that you don't like, you can use the smooth tool and it'll make it nice and smooth. Just like that. Oh, he's kind of starting to look like a little bit of a cute little monster. That's kind of fun. Another option that you can use is the drag tool. So for the drag tool, you're going to select an area that you want to drag. You're going to click and hold and you're going to move your cursor and it's going to drag it out. Ooh, those are kind of look like little monster horns. Ooh, that's kind of fun. One last tool I want to show you is the paint tool. The paint tool is really cool because you totally get to paint your sculpture. I'm going to start out with, I'm going to start out with this orange color. If you just have whatever color is in this box here, that's what, that's what color you're going to paint. So I'm going to click and drag. Your painting can also be symmetrical. So notice how it's painting on both sides of my sculpture, and I'm only having to click on one side. Now, if you want to make your sculpture all one color, I'm going to select, let's go with blue. Ooh, that's a nice blue. Let's go with that one. Now, what happens is I'm going to drag around in this color map, and I'm going to click the color that I want, but it's not going to show up until I hit paint all, and then it's going to work. So I want you to explore on here and show me what kind of fun tools you can make. And then I want you to take a screenshot of your sculpture on your Chromebook or whatever computer you have. And I want you to upload it to Google Classroom and show me what you made. All right. Bye.